Hi there! So, um, today, uh, we're going to learn the particular solution of first order difference equation. Okay? So, um, in this video, you will learn um, solving of particular solution, um, specifically this one. I've already made a video of this, um, this one, but this time it's different because um, we're looking for the particular solution. The previous video that I have is um, determining the um, homogeneous solution of this um, first order um, difference equation. Also, um, you will notice that in homogeneous solution, we set the input signal to be um, zero because um, that's one of the um, steps in order to find the homogeneous solution. It's more on general compared to the particular solution which is more um, specific so that's why it has or intuitions speaking it would be um, more particular or more specifics okay so before we dive in I'm going to um, emphasize this quotation so saying that when you are able to overcome distractions then you will be able to do something more specific something more precise and definite with the time that you have okay so um credits to sunday um adela okay so um as you can see if you were watching my um previous video you will notice that um i've draw some grapes there um relevant to um the quotation that i have so this one i've made some banana because I tried to make banana on that um, previous video, however, it's kind of difficult and it does not um, resemble like a banana. This time, it's much more better. So, I'm kind of having a hard time doing this banana. It's much easier to um, solve this one compared to, you know, drawing some banana. Okay, so um, without, um, without everything said, we're going to um, begin with um, solving the... Uh, problem okay so um, also uh, before we begin I'd like also to um, give some credits to um, Proakis and Manalakis I've copy pasted this um, table from their book the fourth edition digital Sign signal processing principles algorithms and um, and applications okay so let's begin with our first step also um, our first step would be um, using this table, okay? Um, use the table, and then um, find the format for uh, particular um, solution. So um, that would be dependent on the um, input signal. So as you can see, there is an imaginary number one here. So um, that would be constant or this one. So therefore, um, our particular solution would be um, this one, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Use of n. Alright. It's important to have this use of n because um, you basically what does use of n, n means is that at n is equals to 0, you multiply it everything by one so basically it's it's just um at n is um greater than or equal to zero meaning it's just like this okay okay so when i try to evaluate this okay so um let's begin with um number two step or the step two okay so the step two would be okay Step two would be um, substitute y of n into particular um, solution because um, we're finding that. Okay, so basically what happens here is just um, y of p of n plus a sub one y of p n minus one is equals to our input signal which is x of n okay also um after that we have this value of particular solution 
gathered from our um, step one so our equation would now be um, okay use of n plus use of 1 okay use of n minus 1 is equals to um, use of n okay use of n because of our the, of the given okay so we're ready for um, step 3 okay so the step 3 would be um, Okay, so the step three would be okay. So the step three would be um, evaluate the unit step. So evaluate at n greater than or equal to 1 okay so therefore um, our solution now would be um, k so um, at n is equals to um, 1 assuming or greater than 1 it would be 1 is equals plus okay so um, at also at 1 it would be um, a sub 1 and k is equals to 1 okay so the reason why um we started at a 1 because of this one okay because it, it will be i'm um, going to 0 if we start at n uh, is equal to 0 so that's why we have um, this condition okay so um the fourth step would be um the fourth step would be find the value of k okay so therefore um if we um do some algebra mani manipulation the answer would be um k is equals to um 1 over 1 plus a1 okay that's our number 4 okay so what is our number 5 the number 5 or the step 5 would be would be guess what mm -hmm. okay so this is the last step so the number 5 would be um, substitute the value of k into our particular solution this one okay so look at step one and then substitute okay so therefore um, our particular solution now would be um, 1 over 1 plus a sub 1 use of n okay assuming that n is greater than or equal to 1 okay so um that's it so um that's our um, video on how to solve this um, particular solution okay so um just to summarize first is you find the um, um this one using this table and then after that you substitute and then evaluate to simplify find the value of k and then um stop substitute the um, value of k into um, this equation okay so that's why um, this table is important in solving um, particular um, solution so in my next video I will going to have an example for um, the second order difference equation okay so um, that's it for today and you've learned to solve the um, first order difference equation Thank you for watching and I'm Jerome and if you've learned anything hit like and um, subscribe to my channel for uh, more videos of um, digital signal processing and um, electronics 
engineering um, resources. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye. Have fun.